Right, giving just a little bit more time for other people to come in. I'm glad to have you in here, Peach. As always, you're one of my favorites. And I'm not just saying that. So, hello everybody. This is your host, Living Dead Cat. And as always, I am happy to be here and give you guys a safe space to come in and chat and rant and release and everything else and to learn about different misconceptions or learn coping skills or anything else. Hi, drags. It's great for you to be here. So glad that you could make it. So again, I like to provide a safe space for others to learn and grow within themselves and to be able to help cope with life and things like that. So I'm going to go ahead and let you guys know that, hey, guess what? It's First Tuesday and we all know what that is. It's General Discussion Night. So. Let's talk about whatever. Don't forget to give a follow and turn on notifications if you want to be a part of this show or part of the chat. And you know what? That's all we can really hope for. I'm going to go ahead and give thanks to some special people out there. Spanner in the Works. Without them, I wouldn't even be streaming right now. They got my foot in the door and they taught me everything that I know. The Tower of Isa, thank you so much for creating this VTuber avatar. And it's it's absolutely perfect. It's wonderful. Thank you, K Appleby, for creating the banner, and Kitsue for the digital version of the DPS Studios logo. 
Also check out DPS Studios at DragonPantherStudios.com. They have a GoFundMe. They support small streamers and try to provide a living wage so that they can focus on their content. They also are mental health advocates. And Smoke the Dragon 90 is one of the owners. So say hi! Also, feel free if you're 18 and up to join the Sanctuary Discord server. I have posted the link in chat. And it is definitely a good place to be if you feel like you need a place that is unjudgmental, safe, and will listen to you without judging and everything else. We welcome all types of people. Uh, the freaks, the geeks, the kinks, the thinks, the nerds, the jocks, the normies, every walk of life. If you think you don't belong somewhere, you belong with us. I have a QR code that you can reach out to me if you ever need someone to listen. The QR code will give you all of my social media links as well as a couple of other links. I also have a store at coffee.com slash livingdeadcat down in the bottom there next to my mascot, Jasper. He will be showing up on camera at some point telling me it's time to feed him and the stream is over. <laughs> so, without further ado... Let's go ahead and say hello to everybody in the chat. Hi, guys! All right. We've got Panther, we've got Gray, Squishy, and Chef in the chat today. How are you guys doing? And can you hear me? Hello. It looks, it looks like, like my voice is coming in. There we go. That's what happened. <laughs> All right. Hi, guys. <laughs> Hello. Technical difficulties? A little bit, yeah. I guess I hit the wrong button. I didn't mean to leave the chat. <laughs> <laughs> so, hi, guys. Welcome to First Tuesday, and y'all can talk about whatever you want. All right. Well, I have a little bit of news at my end to start things off with, so I can go back to being silent. Today was the last. Today was the last day of my particular job. This has been planned. I worked a season contract for the Texas Rangers. It's their last game is tomorrow, and I have other things to. And I've already been accepted in a place that even that pays better anyway. Oh, okay. Right. There it is. Okay, sorry. Go ahead. That pays better anyway. It might even help me with some of my financial goals I've got going on anyway. Woohoo! Not least, with, not least of which trying to move in with one of my all-time favorite people. Really? Who would that be? Our, our gracious hostess of the evening. That will definitely be a wonderful new chapter of our life. Yes. I want to keep it short, sweet, to the point, so everyone else has a chance to talk about things. Yes, my story will be quite long, so you guys, please go first. <laughs> Not so much a story, just things are going great. Um, the, only, the only thing that, that, uh, that would be nice is a little bit more pay, but other than that, I mean, like last yeah. weekend, I had an amazing weekend. I, Got to see um, uh, Heelung and uh, Nico. Uh, most of y'all been hearing me just just spout out about, uh, about how amazing that experience was. Yeah, nice. Yeah, I, I, I kid you not. I, uh, it really felt like the, uh, the Norse gods and goddesses were in the building. That's awesome. <laughs> yeah, those pictures looked amazing. I knew they good. I took up about 90 pictures. Oh, wow. There, there was a not enough room to catch all of it. But, no, oh, absolutely great music. Especially Panther, you as a music lover, if you have not listened to them, you are really, like, doing yourself a disservice. What's the name of the band again? 
helo. Let's try to get him. I will take 100. Let me try that again. H e i l u n g. I think. Oh, now, now I'm second guessing myself. <laughs> the Black Panther's comment was, "He will yeah. take it up for advisement." H e i l u n g. Yep. I definitely need to listen to. Posted some videos in the right. A few videos in there. No, but they, they don't actually uh, call it a concert. They call it a ritual. And, I, and that is not a, uh, a exaggeration. What I saw, it was a full-on ritual. Also, what did Panther say? Did anybody hear that? I said I will take it under advisement. Ah, yes. My people will talk to your people. <laughs> Wait, I'm your people and his people. Kitty will talk to both of us. Is that or I'll no, talk Kitty to myself? Will talk to herself. <laughs> Those of you over in the chat, can you hear everybody over the music? Namely, Madam Peach and Mr. Drags. Can you hear me now? Good. I can. <laughs> All right. Jeez. Is your push to talk giving you trouble again? No, there's a, a little bit of ambient noise, so I'm using the mute button judiciously. Gotcha. I think I can kind of hear it. Sounds like you're in the rain or something. Uh, no, but there may or may not be torches active nearby. Oh, nice. <laughs> a torch evening, is it? Or a fire evening. <laughs> Just an evening in the garage, honestly. <laughs> I'll do my very best to come see you at the end of the month. However, it depends on my new job, scheduling, and other negotiations I can take on that. If it does not happen, it will happen sooner than later, I promise. Um, I will pretty much say the same thing. Mine is because of crippling debt. <laughs> well, I'm the one driving and paying for gas, so that's about it. <laughs> if I can negotiate the days, then I'll go, no matter what. Heck yeah. Yeah, I'm hoping to leave on Friday. And, uh, after work. <laughs> And yes, it will be a very long drive, so I will be getting some, like, energy drinks and stuff. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, it's a good while. You got some states to go through. Like a 12-hour drive. Yeah. Uh, and I mean, like, I understand the crippling debt thing. Like, we are, we are definitely downgrading from a full-on wedding situation to more just a celebration of awesome. Yep. I, I had a few friends that did a affirmation ceremony. They just decided to tell the government to keep out of their business. Well, I mean, we're, we're already legally married. We just didn't actually get to have a wedding, and I didn't get to have a wedding for my last marriage either, and my, my wife and I both kind of wanted to do that, so we've been trying to get that going ever since then. Well. We figured we figured we would get the important, you know, like dedication and tax situation out of the way since there are so many children coming to the to, coming to the situation from both sides and you know <laughs> go and get all that stuff squared away so things like picking each other's kids up from school isn't a problem. Right. <laughs> and uh, I mean actually we're working hopefully uh by by the very beginning of next year to get the official adoption up for at least two, if not three, of my stepkids, and possibly for my kid with my new wife as well. That's amazing. Congratulations, you guys. Either way, we gotta get, buy you a plane ticket. You know, I we, I got me and mom got some points to use. Maybe we can use them towards that. I would love to see you guys again. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Last time, uh, last time he was sick, though. We really didn't get a chance to hang. Oh, no, that <laughs> yeah. was the first time. Last time, I think you weren't available, or it wasn't a lot of time. 
Last time we got to hang out um, at that one place that we go to. Yes, the uh, adult toy store. Yeah, that's, that's, that's a good way to describe it. Oh, it's Le Donge. <laughs> I wasn't I wasn't sure about the uh, the the cultural legality of that on this show. <laughs> I mean, okay. you know the way I feel about all that. Mm -hmm. <laughs> I mean, eventually, I'm hoping that Kitty's just going to give up on this whole family friendly thing. Well, I do have the uh, disclaimer on my front page now. It says suitable, or well, this stream is suitable for most audiences. Listener discretion is advised. I that mean, and and then so so not 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 to be that guy about it, but my idea of family friendly is like it should be the sort of thing that if you're going to watch it, it's friend friendly for the family. In other words, if you were a younger kid, okay, maybe maybe you're hearing this, but I would hope that you would feel comfortable with going to your parents and discussing what you heard on the show. And if we use a little bit of profanity, hopefully your parents would be capable of discussing that with you too. Mm -hmm. Because here's what I've always thought flip. about it. Yeah, oh, yeah, I mean, and I know, look, most parents out there, and I know, like, I speak mostly for myself, but also for every, like, literally every other parent I've ever known. Oh, you've said some things in front of your kids that you maybe wouldn't have preferred to. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. I mean, and maybe it's an old school way of thinking, but um, it is, in my opinion, the parents' responsibility. Oh, yeah. Oh yeah, my kids know what is what is considered profanity socially, and they know which words that they've uh, like. Honestly, my kids have decided to find more more interesting and creative ways to express themselves. They're like, okay, those are the accepted words; those are the go-to; those get a reaction out of people. But what would people say if I said this, though? I love it. <laughs> oh yeah, I I like using the scientific terms. <laughs> Fair. Like feces. Nice. Fornicate. Or membrum virili. <laughs> you two are fixing to fornicate too. You could turn into a toad. <laughs> <laughs> wow. I like using science fiction terms, like uh, terms from Farscape, like Threl. <laughs> Drek and Ken. Oh, uh, yes. It's how you get uh, away from the Federal Broadcast Commission. <laughs> <laughs> And then Battlestar Galactica had to take that idea and run with it, and it's like, wait, y'all just copied Farscape. <laughs> <laughs> I'm, I'm sick of these monkey fighting snakes on this Monday to Friday plane. <laughs> That's how we came up with the casually savage bug. <laughs> casually, savage, casually savage is sitting over here next to me, by the way. Hi, casually savage. Oh, <laughs> The eldest of the stepkids. But when I was a kid, you know, it, it's a little bit different now. I mean, the internet was not quite as prolific as it is now. But, you know, I was told, you know, don't listen to this stuff. Don't watch this stuff. So Gray walked his ass from uh, from uh, high school to or middle school to whatever CD shop or DVD shop or, you know, whatever to find uh, what I wanted to watch and listen to. Mm hmm. You know? I think the Pudge just kidnapped the cat for torture. Oh, no! Oh. All yeah, right. she's, really, she's really into the teeny tiny black cat. Okay, Drag, see you next time. Thank you for popping in, and thanks for always being so supportive of everything. Thanks for buying me a sandwich the other day. Yay! is good. I love you, people. <laughs> I love me, too. <laughs> I'm starting to really like Tuesday, or first Tuesdays. I'm liking general discussion nights a lot. I'm, I'm almost wanting to do it twice a month. <laughs> me and Nico were talking earlier about what if we did like a sanctuary stream where it was no holds barred. That would be cool. Yeah. Like, we just pull the ripcord and go for it. So the best way to do that is you can even set it up so that people can have a picture of their choosing or 
uh, uh, or just video of their face. You just get somebody who's native and they're, you know, broadcasting all the audio that's coming in through Discord and just their stream screen is the Discord chat, the video chat. Yeah, no, that's, uh, I think Drawfee does it that way, if I'm not mistaken. Probably. I mean, if, if you have a bunch of people who aren't in the same place and you want to get them in the same stream, like, Discord's pretty much the best way to do it. I've tried doing a uh, Facebook Messenger and it it's not good. <laughs> this, uh, that's, uh, I mean, we do most of our chats here anyway, so I mean. Yeah, there you go. It's the familiar format. Of course, you know, a certain, uh, uh, cat-like creature would have to show up more often. Maybe, uh, I have to get the microphone. Well, I just got, I just got a new scissor. It's sitting right next to me right now. I got a scissor arm. I basically, I stole Dragon's scissor arm is what happened. <laughs> uh, my camera is still down. I also, I, I need... Dragons. Well, yeah. <laughs> to, to, be, to be fair, he also had to send me back the tripod for the camcorder and he forgot to send me back the lapel mic, so... Uh, whoops. Um, but, uh, but yeah, I still need to get, um, another cable that's a quarter inch on one end and a headphone cable on the other, uh, 3.55, cause I still can't find my freaking headphones or the cord that goes to them, like, next to my focus, right? So I, like, even if I were to stream or do anything right now, I can't hear anything coming out of my computer. No, oh, that sucks. That super sucks. Yep. So that's that's like the whole the whole studio has been down. The Panther side of Dragon Panther Studios has been dark for like a month. I was wondering what was the, the hold up. Thing. Yeah, I was I was taking some time to recharge, and then uh, one night I had to use my headphones for something else, and they disappeared. Oh. Yeah. And then the three D printer got brought downstairs. So if something disappeared, that's usually injured. <laughs> <laughs> Especially around my house, around my house, there is actually literally just this interdimensional hole that exists, and in my presence, things will simply disappear. And then, like you know, sometime down the road, sometimes it's hours, days, months, it'll just it'll appear again in a completely different place. Maybe that's it's what always... happened to Hoffa. Could be, could be. It's 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 always been a thing as long as I've known me. That's been a thing. My wallet does that a lot. Yeah. Oh, crap. Might might it be a case of object permanence? Oh, it's definitely that. <laughs> just it, most kids just run over all the stuff that we've been uh, losing for our entire lives in Narnia. It's like a <laughs> second wardrobe, and it's just throwing up all the socks I've got missing. socks. <laughs> 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 I, I like my interdimensional whole explanation, but like the truer answer is it's a combination of a lack of object permanence in general, plus the weird compulsive habit of needing to constantly touch and move things. <laughs> I will, I will, I will sit in one place all day, and I will lose seven things in that place and find them and lose them all again. That's not adorable. It's it's incredibly disruptive. <laughs> <laughs> Nah. Ruggedly handsome, I'll accept. Yeah, how about adorable? Nah, nah, we're sticking with the ruggedly handsome. Hey, pretty. A little moth decided to join me in my room on my TV screen. The only light I'm, I'm letting her stay on it. Hey. She won't live long, unfortunately. Just assume that moth's gender. Oh, most bugs are female anyway. Oh dear lord, he ate five hot dogs. Oh, <laughs> and there's still dinner on the on the tea tray. <laughs> and they're laced with LSD, so you're in for a fun night. <laughs> no. Next time I put something else in there, put him to sleep. <laughs> and apparently he hasn't had liquid since 2021, he just announced. Behold, the kid made of beef jerky. <clears throat> the camel! Ouch. I don't know why, but I thought about that one ghost from Phasmophobia, the one that looks like a dried-up husk. 
I swear to goodness, I told you that movie we saw the other night was the longest stream of Devour I've ever seen. <laughs> that was my takeaway. Well, it's not supposed to be an award winning movie. So good. No, my bone is see why Donny Wahlberg does not mess with any one of Blue Bloods. <laughs> Speaking of fans, uh, I know I know that uh, that uh, me and Kitty have played it. Uh, Panther, have you played the new map? Nope. They I could a lot of ambient. Let me see if I can see if it's Steam Deck compatible because I can actually play some games with you guys, maybe. Hey. That cool. Yeah, for those who needed context, the movie we watched on Sunday uh, was Dead Silence. It was the first that time they got I to play. Uh, really? Mm -hmm. And I still huh. didn't see the whole thing. I came in. I fell asleep. Eight o'clock. I fell asleep at like seven thirty or seven. Or it was. I was like, okay, Doing 30 one minutes. This Sunday too. Huh? Doing one this Sunday, too. Yep. Every Sunday this month, the Sanctuary Discord server is hosting a Halloween bonanza of movies. Hopefully, it's a big grade and awesome variety. But a uh, little story about the uh, woman that they got to play Mary Shaw. So, they were in casting for weeks trying to find somebody. Okay. And. And they and they just could not narrow it down because they they wanted they wanted somebody with unique features, right? But all the Hollywood actors, you know, everybody that they were pulling from uh, from uh, from Hollywood, it's just they were not getting it. So they decided to switch gears and they head to New York and start casting with Broadway actors. Oh, great! Found her the very first day. Heck yeah. That's awesome. Quick sidebar. Phasmophobia is verified on Steam Deck and is downloading now. Yay! Yay! Maybe we can play after the stream tonight. Yeah. Yeah, but but if you notice, she had a very elegant look about her. Oh, you yes, know? she did. Second find a picture of her normal. <laughs> I tried normal once. It was... So I am playing a game called Outer Worlds right now. Outer Worlds is cool. I Outer Worlds. Play it. There are two main computers you'll be messing with eventually. The main one will be your navigator and extraordinarily snarky Ada machine, who is constantly plotting to kill you, but she also can't resist any of your direct orders. Kind of a conundrum for her. Oh, that's interesting. The second one is an autonomous cleaning unit named Sam, which he retrofitted with an acid steeper so that he can be useful in battle. <laughs> Once in a while, Sam spends a little extra time cleaning uh, Ada's console. And Ada gets extraordinarily flirty with him. <laughs> like, the kind of talk you and I sometimes have. Flirty. Oh, like, very oh, descriptive. Oh, wow. Very descriptive. Yeah. I'm like, I was told to give you back factory reset settings, but I don't think I want to now. You're too much fun, Ada. <laughs> It sounds like everybody's been having a pretty good time lately. Well, unless it's not mine. Okay, it is not allowing me to share it normal, so I'm just gonna show y'all via my screen. Oh, okay. Uh, it's had its moments. What do we got here, buddy? There you go, there's Mary <laughs> Shaw. Nice. A very distinctive bone structure. Okay. 
Oh, yeah. Oh, she's gorgeous. <laughs> yeah, I've seen her before. Yeah, no, that's that's what she's she looks like. Without... Yeah, she is. Judith Roberts, name, apparently. Yep. That's funny. Very distinctive features. Oh, yes. Hey, uh, Kitty, you forgot to do something. What did I forget to That's do? That's all right. I'll do it for you. Start a bit. Oh. <laughs> yeah. It's new. It'll take me a while to get into that habit. It's <laughs> all right. I forgot to do it Sunday. <laughs> I noticed. Actually, guys, there was another game I was wondering if you guys were interested in maybe playing with me at some point. Yeah, what's that? Um, so it's a lot like Overcooked. It's called Played Up. Hey, we have been playing it. I have it now. Yeah, you, yeah you've been playing that. I have only gotten to play it solo, and it is really annoying trying to run that restaurant alone. Yes, it, it is. is. I totally, I totally think that, uh, that you and I should do that on the next date night. Cool. I mean, I've been playing a lot. I can get up to, like, day eight repeatedly oh. by myself. Yeah, um... I only I'm not got good. Up to the one star so far. Oh, adorable. Well, <laughs> on the way out, I told the chef on the way out uh, my last day at work where his ratings stand, at least on Google and Yelp. Four point seven stars. <laughs> oh, the six month period that was the season. Hmm. Nice. Hey, Kitty, I can give you a hint to get you past that first star. Yeah. You want to make things super easy your first couple of days? If you pick up one of your tables and you move it over to your serving table, you don't have to leave the kitchen. Are you still cooking? If you, uh, if you move it over to your, if you move it over to the edge of the, uh, serving table, uh -huh. or a serving window, you can just serve right across the window. And then if you take your other table and move it to the door that goes into your kitchen, it turns it into a serving window too. Oh, wow. Yeah, so you don't even have to go out into your main restaurant restaurant floor. Oh, that's helpful. Yep, so until you end up getting, like, you know, 15, 20 people in a day and you need a third table just to not have people waiting outside, you can just do that. Oh, and then okay. you can do whenever you feel like it. Huh. That's a really Yep, I got lots of those because you know how I play video games. I play it the first time and I look like a total fool and then I'm like, okay, now I must figure out all of your secrets and murder you. <laughs> I mean, yes. What? What? <laughs> so, I've had quite the day. Um, for those of you who know, there's been quite the change in the department at work. And now another co-worker coming. I will soon be the only one in my department who knows what to do. Because the only other person there is a temp for filing. So and I, you yourself will be leaving. I am actually tempted to fight this. I have about five higher-ups that don't want me to leave. Not just because it will cripple the company itself, but because they know the stuff that I know. And how invaluable that knowledge is for the department. And I have been talking to them about my concerns, about the issues that are popping up on a daily basis. And the restrictions that are being put on the department with the ridiculous, unrealistic expectations on top of that. And yada, yada, yada. I mean, I, if my opinion is worth anything, let me just say this. You've had asking problems. for more money. Well, I mean, if they give you all your demands, it's one thing, but you have had problems with them since we've since you've been there, really. You know? One of those problems is no longer there. 
house. I just have another major problem. To This part of the picture looks very Halloweenish. I like it. Dee. But yeah, I get what you're saying, Gray. I'm, I mean, my resume's updated. <laughs> I'm, I'm getting my feelers out. I'm looking at different places that have been suggested to me. It's just slow going with everything. On. But it'll get done. <laughs> yeah, it's a tiny paint roller. So it'll either work out or it won't. One. Pretty much how that's going to go down. But again, I am fighting a good fight because, in general, the company itself is not a good. It's just that department has been treated like garbage. City apartment paramount to the company. Maybe the apartment will get a little more uh, effect. A lot of people within the company that know how important our department is, but can't do anything about it. And there's people outside the Oh yeah. And even the uh, the FAA there today, a couple of those guys were giving ideas. But being told that no PTO will be allowed for a certain amount of time and not giving that specific time frame that's not going to fly. Especially with uh, the ADA. Because all I have to do is bring in a psychiatrist or therapist if I need a mental Okay. Well... Everything that's been... i tell you this. If it comes down to it, the company just like not really pulled, but starts doing stupid crap, you end up leaving. Hey, all that time you're spending on being the uh, counselor for them is going to go to their competitor. Every single company worth their salt needs one of you. I appreciate it. You just increased your skill set by more times than you could possibly believe at this point. Yeah. I mean, the stuff that I can do now after being with this company for so long, I mean, I've almost been here five years. Longest I've ever been with a company. And yeah. there have been times where I was ready to walk. Something kept pulling me back. Not just care for my kid, heads that we need for mental health and like. I like the. I really do. Some of the management, some company, civic department in the company it very difficult I enjoy the work there's going to be that in almost every company I know that but I also know that I don't want to go to a big operation either because I know what that's like just another tiny cog in a with a smaller company, you can make more of a difference with it. 
company. Kill that with this. I mean, already the safety department is incorporating mental health into their safety stuff. Which I'm sure pisses that one guy off. <laughs> Not a part of the safety ambassador program. But yeah. There's something there worth fighting for. I'm gonna fight a little bit longer. Definitely gonna ask. Especially since yeah. I'm on that last ditch. To the last one got. standing. Hmm? And to be told that there are no senior people or no people in our department when I was hired on as a lead the other day or last week, what he told me uh, during the meeting, that was like a punch in the gut. But the more he continues to talk about stuff like that and make the decisions he's making the more he's digging his own grave um. Anybody else struggling with anything that we can out and get with? Actually, right now, I'm good. Not struggling with anything. I was just going to say 3D printing is fun, and what do you want the stands for your egos to look like? I will send you a picture. I know exactly what I want to look like. <laughs> so um, I, can, I can see if I can find some blueprints that look like that, and if not, we can start crafting STL files. Heck yeah. I like it. I'm assuming there's something in Photoshop we can use to make STL files. If not, we'll just do it inside Creality or something. I only say that because I have no idea what you're talking about. <laughs> it's like 3D blueprint mapping files that I can uh, feed into the machine itself so that it knows where to put the, the hot plastic. Or eventually, like, metal, and I guess I have, like, wood filament. That's interesting. Wood filament? Really? Yeah, so I can, like, print wood things. That's different. Yeah, I don't know. I really want to look at it. I don't know if our machine can do that, or at least if the extruder we have can do that, but ours is, like, fully upgradable. Like, every piece on it can be taken off and is compatible to put on something else. That's why we got this one. Oh, oh tell everybody what you guys have made so far. Um, I made a hatchet man decal. We made an articulated, like, dragon. It was all print in place, too. Like, it wasn't a bunch of pieces we put together. It just printed it all as one, and then we decided to break the little support threads. It was pretty interesting how it worked out. Um, we've printed... I printed a Daedric sword. That was cool. Um, we have a cat toy that's basically a little gecko that has a little hole in the nose for a string so we can pulled around for the kitties and we printed that out of really hard plastic um let's see what else uh oh i just did a really cool and weird like printer calibration test which is just something that looks awesome but i don't know <laughs> oh, let's uh, see in the chat what? says i was skipped over for a promotion someone else threatened to leave so i started acting my wage hmm. there's an idea too you know, it's called acting your wage, and the employers like I've started a new term on boards calling it quiet quitting. 
In other words, only working exactly as much as you're paid for and no more than that. Thinking it's a derogatory term. Guys, we've been rocking that behavior since the first unions during uh, uh the great before the Great Depression. So no. So I'm not going to name names, but I know somebody here was struggling uh, with their mental health for a bit, and I learned that they had uh, not so much breakthrough, but had a decent time and figured stuff out recently and are doing better. So I want to say that I am very glad to hear that. I hope it continues to get better. You don't have to say anything if you don't. Well, I. I'm just fairly quiet when other people are talking, but <laughs> Thanks, Grace. Um, so yeah, I, I realized that I'm going to have to change therapist just because I'm not clicking with the one that I was with, but I also did something today that kind of put some things into perspective. Mm -hmm. Um, I was trying to explain to somebody something and the words as I was raised came up because I mean we are what our past makes us and then what our choices make us but there are a lot of things in my past that are still really affecting me so I was saying that um, basically I was raised that, um, you know, batter people are basically worthless, but that's how I was raised. Okay. So what thinking can I change to, you know, apply to myself now? Because, yeah, that was how I was raised, but that's not what I'm doing now, and that's not my thought process. So just putting it in those terms has helped me, you know, figure out, okay, well, a different way of thinking, so. Hmm. Life has a funny way of teaching us these sort of things, doesn't it? Well, and especially when it, you don't really, you don't, like, I wasn't expecting to, you know, be explaining to this person, you know, something that would, you know, eventually come back and go, oh, yeah, okay. <laughs> Language has certain powers, and depending on and what words you choose, it can actually, it, it can shine its light on things that um, then you can you know, see differently. <laughs> Again, that's definitely awesome that you were able to make that connection and start the process thinking differently in the past of how you were raised, how they thought. Because one of the big things going around now is breaking the cycle, and not just with mainstream stuff, but with my own mental state and way of thinking. In I mean, all my friends, and I mean all of my friends, you know, always tell me how beautiful I am, how confident I seem, 
you know, that I'm a wonderful person and all of these things. But like none of it sinks in. No matter how hard, you know, people are praising me, it's like, well, no, no, no. Well, okay. Um, you don't give worth to something at all. And then, of course, nothing good is ever going to come of it. Yep. So, okay, I I flat out said that, you know, the way I was raised was those people are worthless, which means that I made myself worthless in my own head. Well, uh, if something is worthless, you don't value it, and so kind of a nasty cycle and I do understand uh, the part where it doesn't sink in um, I've dealt with that quite a bit real quick from the chat as I was going above and beyond why I was not getting the position. I just stopped pressing about all the extra work I do. I do what my job title requests. Yeah. Much how some things have to be done to get the point across. But uh, back to what uh, we're talking about, Squish, with how you were raised and and on some extent uh what was mentally beat into you. It, I mean, you're told all your life one thing and you start to believe it and it takes that much longer and then some to believe it in the other direction. Mm -hmm. So I know that I try my best to be a good person. I know that I struggle sometimes. I know that I am not the best person in the world. I'm not happy with my looks, but I am content with what I aspire to be. And that is a huge step for me. I don't hate myself anymore. I'm not ready to say that I love myself yet. I'm still working on it, but I do like who I am, and that's big. Panther can attest to that, too. Super, super is, and I'm super, super proud of you for getting there, and also, as I always say, I've always liked who you are, so I'm glad you finally caught up. <laughs> Thanks, sweetie. <laughs> but yeah, it takes a good circle of people to just remind you. It's not that they're giving praise or anything. They're reminding you of who you really are. And just because you spent your entire childhood or teenage years or all the way up to adulthood being told otherwise, that doesn't mean it's true. And it's hard to break that cycle. It's hard to let it sink in because there's also that guard uh, mm -hmm. that I had, uh, whether or not you have the same thing where it's like, okay, well, what if I am this good person? Then what if I mess up? Then it's not true. You no. Know? Right. And you almost want to protect yourself from not meeting everybody's expectations of that praise by not accepting it to begin with. But guess what? It's okay. It's not easy, but you'll get there. I know you will. As I believe in you. <laughs> no, seriously, I really do. I do believe in you, and I do think that you're going to make some amazing progress. Because you already have for, as, as, for how much I've known you and how long I've known you. You've made a lot of progress, and I'm so glad that you joined the group, and I am very glad that I met you. Because you're an awesome person to me. You definitely have a unique way of looking at things. <sighs> and it's it's really cool to, to sit and chat for hours. 
<laughs> when time permits. <laughs> right. So I definitely owe you a lot more of that. Because yeah, I got a taste of what it's like to come hang out with you, just just one on one, and I need more now. <laughs> <laughs> I must have my fix. <laughs> is that how it is? To what? Is that how it is? A little bit. Sorry, babe. I need a squish fix. <laughs> <laughs> uh, you may not be the only one. She's cool. Yeah. Most of the time. Yeah, I don't know, but lately it's just been really hot. I was going to say, that's a personal uh, opinion. Um. <laughs> <laughs> but yeah. Hopefully I embarrassed you the right amount. <laughs> Not too much. Yeah, it's just just enough. Exactly. Yeah. That's what we do to friends. Exactly. We bully them and then we embarrass them hey, the right amount. Yes. On both sides. You know what? I'm I'm shocked. But I think it's because Jasper is now laying down on my mom's old Scarborough Fair dress. He is passed out. He is <laughs> not coming over. He is not stepping on my stuff. Sitting here checking the time, thinking like, wait a minute, something's missing. Oh yeah, cat paws. <laughs> I would say that's a good thing to be missing, considering what you're messing with. Yeah. Don't need no sticky on the paws. Give me a second, guys. I gotta give the cat her meds. Hi, Callie. You're sweet. Oh, man. I've noticed Jasper, his joints pop. When he walks around, he's starting to get older. He's getting little white hairs in random spots. <laughs> I'm glad I got this thing back out. I needed a change of pace. I don't know about you guys, but this is way easier to do while I talk. Listen. Oh, and if anybody wants a jack-o'-lantern dragon egg, I can make one now. It doesn't light up, but I can make it with uh, blacklight paint. That'll be cute. My father was interrupting me long enough to give me some moral support about tomorrow. Oh, yeah. Well, I will be available via messenger as much as I can tomorrow. Need some uh, immoral support. <laughs> I think I got plenty at home this, for this one. Maybe the next one. <laughs> Hopefully you won't need a next one. <laughs> well, I'm eventually going to live long enough to become 50 or so, so yes, yes, I will eventually, but not for at least another 
10 to 15 years. Well, it's just an endoscopy. Not going up the other yeah. end. Yes, well, I'll still be put out either way, and the same medicine is used for each. Ugh. The exact same medicine, I might add. Oh, I'm sorry. <laughs> and I don't mean to laugh. Did you have one of these before? You're only... You're not that old yourself. I never had an endoscopy, but I did have the other one, sort of. Hmm. Either way. Well, it was an exam, not a scope. Either way, I say the result's the same. Yeah. Yeah, they would have to sedate me or something for endoscopy. I I would probably choke on them. Oh, I, they're going to sedate me too. They're even told. Oh, good. <laughs> Ugh, yay, medical procedures. <sighs> Coming along. Somewhere. I don't know why I like to do the checkup. Probably because it keeps... Anybody have any plans for this Halloween? Uh, not do it while completely broke. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, I think I have some plans. There might there might be some people in from out of town. Ha ha ha. That's the idea, yeah. Yep. But also, the only, uh, that's the only plan I got. <laughs> also, also, our family is trying to work out a series of connected cosplays. I think uh, Pudge and uh, Rocky are thinking about doing a size-swapped version of My Neighbor Totoro and the Little Girl. Nice. And then, uh, I don't know, um, DK wants to do something interesting with me. I don't know. He hasn't decided what yet. So, mm. So we'll have to see. And then, yes, trick-or-treating. I don't think there's going to be, like, a Halloween party, because, like, that whole period of time, we're pretty much going to be in revelry. So, <laughs> yay, Sawin! Yay! Definite yay. Um, I know that Jeff and I had plans for a Morticia and Gomez costume, but I'm not sure if that's going to be able to happen. And I have no idea what I'm going to do for mine. I mean, if it does, I am super bald and I will totally do fester. <laughs> but would you shave for it? Uh, maybe. Depends. What about hold the light bulb in your mouth and have it light up? Could definitely do that. It would fit the uh, skin color for the character. <laughs> I've been electrocuted. I'm a potato battery. Mm -hmm. <laughs> and I'm Colonel Sanders. Couch potatoes have a worse like batteries. Wait, what? All I could play in my head when he said that was, I'm a potato. <laughs> and then immediately my thought was, potato's going to hate, potato's going to potate. Still don't know where that came from. No, like something your son would come up with. Actually, no. As far as I know, a friend of mine and I came up with it. Unless I heard it somewhere and forgot. I mean, I'm just going to say like parent, like kid. At least when it comes to the making up of slogans. <laughs> Shh. 
Just let it happen. How's Callie doing, Gray? She's doing all right. She's getting used to the medication. The insulin shots is what I was most worried about, but she's taking those like a champ. That's awesome. What she's not uh, taking like a champ is the glucose uh, glucose testing. Oh. Yeah, how she's do, not a big fan of that. How do you have to do that one? On her paw. Huh? I have to prick her paw. Oh. Get a small bead of blood, put it on a testing strip, and shove it in a machine, and it tells me her glucose level. Her poor little paw. I bet she doesn't like that. Strange that she takes the other injection so well. Well, I'm sure it doesn't have to go in the paw. It's all Actually, sensitive. It Do what? It does. It has to go on a bare area because if it's a hairy area... It's like a thousand times more difficult to get the blood. For the injection? No, for the injection, uh, that goes uh, um, in her back. Yeah. It's a lot less sensitive back there, what I meant. So the injections are not that big a deal. How often do you have to test her glucose? Three times a day. Before or after meal? So the first one of the day has to be uh, before. The other two of the day have to be after. Gotcha. Like an hour after. And that helps you determine how much to give her for the... Yep. Well, no. Her insulin's the same regardless. <clears throat> it's more testing like her sugar. Like mm -hmm. if it's too low... Um, then I will actually uh, uh, rub a little, uh, just a tad bit of honey inside of her mouth. Um, if it's too high, we can actually skip an injection that day. Okay. The good news is, is that she actually, kind of like people with diabetes type 2, we have a chance to turn this around. Awesome. It's not a big chance, oh, but yeah. it's... Cool. I hope Ooh. it does get turned around. And Pete says the kids are going to an escape room for their birthday and they're taking one of our guests. Oh, that sounds exciting. And Scouter is trying to rescue Mizu from Pudge. Oh, sorry, Pudge. Scout's the bigger cat, right? And Mizu's the little black one? Yeah, that is correct. Scout is my stray boy who wandered up to my friend at the laundromat and was like, take me home, and then was like, yes, I don't like you anymore. I want to go with this person. <laughs> and Mizune is the one who was rescued from a mother who was smothering her kittens and has a little bit of brain damage. Aww. She's, I mean, she's perfectly functional. She just occasionally when she goes to get her head petted, she falls down instead and... Sometimes she falls down the stairs. It's okay. <laughs> <laughs> she doesn't have the wobbles, does she? Not super bad. I mean, like, sometimes when she's walking, her head just dips down, and then she, like, falls. Hmm. She she got she got saved, but she was like you know the next one in line. Pretty much was what was happening when uh, when the litter got rescued. Aww. So yeah, those are the two downstairs, and then upstairs there's Yuki and now Bubbles, who is like all of six ounces. Oh my goodness. Okay. She was the runt of her litter, and she's also very young. So. Baby. Yep, it's so, I mean, you know, there it, it will always be a full house over here. Yeah, like, you know, you, they had they had the whole, like, TLC, like, series following polygamists. They really need to be following, like, pre-millennials pre, pre -millennials and millennials 
who are now just living essentially in communal situations because that's exactly what the economy is for the past 20 years. Like, what is, what is the idea of somebody my age owning a house? That's insane to me. And yet, that's what I'm trying to do by the end of next year. Hey, hey, hey. I own a house. <laughs> I mean, technically, I own a trailer, but it's like on an island off the coast of Georgia, and I want nothing to do with it. Huh. I know that. Well, yeah, no, it's, 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 it, it was handed down to me by my granddad. Hmm. My great grand, my great granddad, I guess. That is interesting. All right, guys. Anybody have anything else they want to talk about tonight? What was that? Yeah, I'm good. <laughs> I was going to say if there's anything anybody else wants to talk about or any plans that they have, anything they want to share, anything like that. I, I think that's it. My life is boring. No, it's not. Maybe to you. I like the story. I like all y'all's story. You guys rock. Alrighty, I'm going to go ahead and call it there. Got a pretty good amount done tonight. Thank you all for joining in. Again, this was the Art and Mental Health Stream First Tuesday's General Discussion Night. I am your host, Living Dead Cat. Check out my store at coffee.com and check out Dragon Panther Studios at dragonpantherstudios.com. Pop into the Discord channel for the Sanctuary 18 and up server only. I got ahead and posted the link. And I will see you guys next week at 7.30 p.m. Central Standard Time. All right, everybody. Take care of yourselves. Bye.